So we're back again, um, doing nails. <laughs> Would you believe? Um, I have my Auntie Claire in today, and she's going to get some gorgeous Valentine nails. Um, I'm doing this design. Now, it was sent to me by one of my students who said, how do I do this? So I thought, well, instead of explaining over messages, which would be really difficult, I'll just make a video. So here we go. Let's get cracking. Okay, so I've already prepped these nails. There's two here. So I've removed surface shine, done cuticle work. You can see how they're going nice and matte now. I can see a fuzzy on that one already though. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sculpt out some length. So we're gonna match the length to these. Get a bit of length first, nice and thin. Now you could do this with um, acrylic gel, like a hybrid gel, or you could do it with acrylic. I'm going to opt with acrylic because <laughs> I love acrylic over everything. That's just, just me, but I'm giving you the options because you need the options. So we're going to sculpt out on sculpting form. You could tip if you want to tip, it's absolutely fine. But the reason I'm doing it with acrylic first is because... If I, this, this is just something that you might run into, you know, problems stuck. We've all got them, believe me. If we use a hybrid gel or an acrylic gel, then when I come to press the product, because you have to press quite firm, you could run into a problem where you, where you move the sculpting form. That's why I'm doing it in acrylic. But I also love acrylic because, you know, it's my baby. It's my baby. We're going to do these as a... Now, this thing is slightly wonky. Just, it's all right. We all yeah. have them. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Is that it's, my wonky finger? And it's not just a family tree. <laughs> so when I've just popped that up, because I want to kind of counteract this finger and straighten it up a little bit. If I do a nail on it and stay with how wonky it is, now we have a video all about this if you want, if you struggle with wonky <laughs> fingers, then we've got a video to show you how to rectify that. Is it just like a family trip? I'll be sure to watch I'd... that. <laughs> what? I'll be sure to watch it. Yes, make sure you watch it, yeah. Claire. Um, it's just lots of people have it. I mean, it is the same finger as I have, so maybe it is a family trait. <laughs> Don't know. Well, the shortness is definitely a family trait. Yeah, yeah. How tall are you, Claire? Four foot eleven. <laughs> I feel quite good because I'm five foot one. <laughs> five foot one. I am really. Honest to God, I'm five yeah, foot with one. With them shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? What are you on about? <laughs> what do you mean? I just feel so tall with these shoes on. Do you know when you're at the kitchen, in the kitchen, and you're like, oh, oh, oh the counter's a bit lower. Yeah. Oh, comes up to my waist instead of my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, wonky finger. So as I put this form on, I was like, oh, that's a bit wonky. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, can you see where it's made that little dent I in the form? I have noticed that that finger's a bit wonky. And yeah. that one is a little bit. A little bit. Not too bad, though. No. Not as deformed. Um... <laughs> But there's a little tiny mark on this sculpting form where your nail kind of dug in. So I'm going to follow that and come round to just change that contact area. So can you see how we've like made that a different shape? Which means I should be able to slide in here now and fit it nice and straight. I'm also just going to trim these little ears here. And all I need to do is just sort of cut those off. And we should be good to go. Fabulous. Fabulous. Make sure we are nice and straight. Anchor it up a little bit. And I can close the form. And you can see that by just trimming this a little bit and having this cut out here allows for this skin to pop out without pushing the form out and misshaping the nail that you're going to create. So we're going to put on um, the Ultra Bond 
from Nail Chemy. So this is their primer. And then we're going to use their clear, which is called Crystal. This is also going to give you maximum adhesion as well because clear acrylic is probably the product that will, you know, be the best adhesion. It Because it's got no pigment in it, it adheres so, so well to the natural nail. I'm going to do a modern almond. Right, so I've took the forms off. I'm going to give these a little bit of a shape. So I'm going to give this a shape. Don't forget it is really thin. But I want this to be quite smooth. And don't get me wrong, this design is not a quick one. Trust the process, but it's not quick. It really isn't. So that's why you, you don't do a full setup because you know you will lose the will to live if you don't. <laughs> if you if you care about your life, don't do a full set of these. We have filed them. Don't need buff them or anything like that. Just filed. We're gonna put the Coaster Making base coat on. If you could pop me that in my lamp. So we're gonna use Lust. And you're just gonna paint a little splotch like that. Now you, if you really want to be like super picky, but this, it will be time consuming to do this. And there is no room for error. You could clean it up with the clean up solution and make this into a love heart, yeah? But we really don't need to do that. I want it to be bigger than I intend. So you could just put a little splodge on, like I did. So cure me that in the lamp. We'll do two coats of that. Then we're going to use the, oh, the, the, I won't say Aurora. It doesn't say that. It says Aura, Kirsty. So the Aura acrylic gel in natural clear. A little bit of that straight on there. I'm going to use the Adam 3D brush. It's a synthetic brush. And we're going to make this into a love heart shape for Valentine's. Do you know what I'll be doing on Valentine's? Um, having somebody cook for you? I won't be doing a lot, will I? Because I'll have not long I've had my operation. And I'll be looking like I've had 10 rounds with Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Is that when you go in it? Well, I go on the 11th. Ah. A week tomorrow. It looks like this. looks like the um. Harry Bow Sweetie. It looks like the Harry Bow Sweetie. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't eat it. Oh, it does. It'd be incredibly toxic. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm using the brush to get my shape of my little love heart. So you see why it's easier to go a little bit wider with your heart shape or your little splodge underneath. It's a little bit easier because you've got more room, more room to work with. So I'll be very gentle as I move it around to get my heart shape. Are you going to have to take into consideration an apex here? Yes. When we're building this nail, think about the structure of the nail and where you'll need the apex. So you want the apex in the back third of the entire length of the nail. And then we slowly come a little bit thinner. What I remember. Right, so next thing we're gonna do is, at this point, if you need to file it or anything like that, you can file it. I'm hoping I have zero filing or very minimal, very minimal filing. Um, but what I am gonna do now is, I'm gonna use Lust. Where's my little palette? With my Cassidy detailer. I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to go around the outside. So we create a, we are creating a frame. And when you're coming around the outside, you want to go as high as the heart. And you also want to go below. So you're going to go down around here, I'll show you on this side. Pop 
pop me that in the lamp. More acrylic gel. Press down over the heart you've done. And you can start to move that around. All right, so you've actually covered the whole thing. You don't just do around the sides of it. Well, this will push it around the sides. I mean, you'll reach the one you've already done. Right. So keep pushing it until you reach that one. And at this point, you'll see how much product you've got. And if you need to take any off, I think I'm going to just scoop a little bit off. And then we're going to make a little border around the heart that we've already done. Directly over the top of the other colour. So I'm putting my brush in a little bit of clean up solution to help move it around. You can also use um, the cleanser from Nailchemy. And then let me go back to my 3D brush. So I'm going to add them 3D because I can get in to this part here. Pop that in the lamp. Next colour we're going to use is Summer. Same brush, the Cassidy Detailer. So now, because, we've, because we can't really go much wider, when you put your acrylic gel on, you're going to do either the top section, bleh, top section first or the bottom section first. So I'm just going to scrape that on there. Then I can use my Adam 3D brush. I can guide that around the top. Just flash cure me that, so just put it in for 10 seconds. Then we're going to do the bottom bit. Now at this point, this is where you could file because it'll become a lot easier at this point because you're coming towards the edge if you need to file. I haven't really got a clue if I need to or not. I might do just to show you. How about that? Just gonna wipe over with some clean up solution. First thing we're gonna do, so I've got a 180 grit file. I'm just going to file this so I can see how it's developing. Oh, a bit wonky there. A bit wonky. Maybe I should have filed. Oh, yeah. A bit wonky. Well, it's a wonky finger. Yeah. So. <laughs> blame Claire. So what I'm saying is you can file this part like this now and get this really sharp. Obviously, to file this part, you would definitely need... I mean, you can file it a bit right here, but you can't file in, can you? You can't file it in that little, that little nook 
You could use an e-file if you think, oh, I really want to get in there. You could use an e-file. So I'm going to use the cuticle bit just to show you that you can come in with that to do your little point. I thought you were going to use the secret weapon, actually. The secret weapon isn't thin enough. Ah, uh, right. This has got like a really nice point. Whereas the secret weapon is slightly rounded, slightly rounded. Whereas mm. this is a little bit sharper. Right, next colour is cotton candy. white for all the cold-hearted people. <laughs> Right, so we're going to use a little bit of mercury. Right, I'm going to use the pink Swarovski bit, which is made of ceramic. And you've got your Swarovski crystal. Now, Claire, you need to tell me if we get warm. Yeah. But can you relax? Can you? Sorry, sorry. Like, you know. <laughs> but as soon as I turned on the electric file, our hand went. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I think that's what I do with the dentist, that's why. <laughs> this went slightly, slightly. Just slightly on the top there, but the thing. Well, it went slightly a bit warm then. Just up the very top, but not on the actual nail. What do you mean on your skin? Yeah, just very touch slightly, that's all. I do love this bit. Do you know what it looks like? What? That's all, folks. <laughs> It looks a bit like the, uh, I know it's not a heart, it's a circle, but... That's all, folks. So, I love with doing 3D French designs, that old, like, shadowing that you get. I just absolutely love that. Right, let's file this a little bit more perfect now. I mean, my favourite bit, favourite bit, favourite bit, <laughs> my, my favourite bit is about to come, which is putting the top coat on, obviously. Oh, looks nice already. There are a few imperfections that I am really annoyed at, but I do like it. Well, it was the first experiment on this one, though, so you know, somebody's asked you to try, how do you do that, and you've given it a go. Yeah. So, what I've learned is, I would definitely make sure I file those first few that I did, because I thought, no, I don't need to. I clearly did. Pop that in the lamp. It's like, these are the these are the layers of the heart and the trauma that it's been through. <laughs> and you can clearly cle clearly see the trauma. You know, like when you look at um, the rings of a log of wood. Yeah. You know, you can see the trauma that it's been through, I think. Hey, it doesn't look too bad, does it? Sure. Nice. It is a bit wonky though. I like it wonky. I quite like it wonky. Mm. It adds character. And that's what I'm sticking with. <laughs> so let's finish with a little bit of cuticle oil. 
It's like be still my beating heart. Boom, boom, boom. Can we make the screen go boom? Yes. Boom, boom. <laughs> With all the special effects. Ready for Valentine's Day, Jock. I hope um, Simon treats you well. I hope you have loads of champagne and um, roses. Well, he's it off, so. Oh, is he booked it off? Yeah, I bet he's going, he's going to keep your meal into you, I think. Oh, well, it's a slim as world meal. <laughs> keeps meals all the time for me. <laughs> so you like, that's not special. Sorry, we need something better. <laughs> <laughs> so there you are, guys. That's how to create a 3D French um, love art thingy. few little mistakes, but you know what I mean? I hadn't done it before, so that's what happened. I just realised we left the camera there. <laughs> It's all right, I'm just wire over your head, but yeah, it's mental, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> excuse me, if I was just um, just the same. <laughs> That's it, it's gone. Yeah, that wasn't a camera there, promise. <laughs> <laughs> Um, don't forget, everything that I've used today will, will be listed below in the description box. And yeah, check us out on Facebook and Instagram, TikTok, all that. YouTube stories, all of that. What else are we on? I don't know. <laughs> I've lost the will to live. Because <laughs> that nail took a lot out of me. Right, I'm off. See you later. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy, Happy Love Day. Happy Love Day. Love Happy day. Love Day. Happy Love Day. Happy Love Day. <laughs> love you end. all. <laughs> That's what? That's for you, end. She calls it Love Day. So she says. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye. It's like you need a corner man or something. I know, I need to <laughs> mop, me, mop my brow. Put give me a shoulder rub. Yeah, give me some... You can do this, Kirsty. You can do this. <laughs> Ooh, dizzy. <gasps>